Sandwich, where victory lives with Nicole Elizabeth Squires, only on LA Talk Radio. Well, welcome tonight to the Recovery Switch. We are so excited to come tonight to talk straight to you and let you know a little bit about Forward Movement. I've been getting so many people I've been talking to that are in depression, that feel stuck. And I think it's about time we have a one-on-one -on -one and talk about this issue, talk about how to move forward. Every one of us knows somebody that is stuck somebody yes. that's going through depression True. so we want to talk about that tonight um you know my co-host chuck mason hey. and i are going to bring the 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 truth as best we know it to 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 give you some enlightenment and give you some empowerment to greatness tonight are you ready i'm ready let's do it <laughs> let's do it okay let's enlighten them out there. <laughs> well um like I said, I, I've gotten some people who came to me recently and, and, and they are saying that um, they have friends who've been doing the same thing for 10 years. And, right. And, and they feel family members who are hurting and, and don't know how to get out of it. And, and they're, they're literally, some of them are even hurting for them. Because oh, wow. they want them to see them move forward. They don't want them to be in this condition continuously in depression. And, and, and it's, it's tiring on the people that love you, too. Oh, it is. Very. Yeah, it, it really is. So we're going to talk about forward movement today. And, um, you know, God has designed everything in our show. Let me l explain. Everything in this show has to do with God. Um, that's what we believe because it, it is just a part of who we are. Right. And so we're going to give so you true. for a perspective that lets you know how I feel God looks at it and, and what we can do with his help to make it better. Okay. So um, we, let's talk about um, your life and, and, and some of the things that you do to recognize if you're in depression and not moving forward. Now, um, if you have someone in your life, or if this is you, that you tend to come and with the same story, the same situation, year after year, year after year, after year. Yeah. and it's like, woe is me, you know, um, I've been going through this, nobody understands how I feel, nobody cares, you know, it, it's just hard. I can't, I can't get over this. It keeps re, you know, reiterating in my mind. And, and you, you, you walk this path, or they walk this path for many years. Yeah, that's this depression that they're going through, and they get caught, stuck. Yeah, and, 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 and they're stuck. They're yeah. stuck. They, they don't know how to do a career move. They're stuck right. in jobs that, right. that just when they walk in the door, the depression takes them over. Right. And so when you're in that kind of a situation or when you feel this way, if you know someone who is feeling this way, there's a lot of things going on right. in, 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 in their lives, you know? And um, one of the things we want to have to do is we got to analyze what's going on within them. Um, if it's going on with you, let me talk to you, okay? And, and if you know somebody, you can basically, you know, maybe give them the video or, or relay some of the conversation that we're having tonight. Now, Great I want idea. you to know that there is a phone number you can call. And it's 818-570-5085. You can join our conversation at any time. If you have a question, doesn't matter. You can call, call, call in. We will stop and answer any yep. questions you may have. But anyway, let's, let's start by um, analyzing what is going on with you. Um, if your conversation is continuing to be in a way that you, you're not moving forward, you're living in the past. And if you're living in the past, you know, it's called the past for a reason because it's supposed to be left behind. But a lot of people seem to live there. They, they continue to walk in and be in, 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 in some sort of time warp. They do. 
You know, mm-hmm. it, it, it's just, I know things have happened to you, and I get that. It's happened to me. It happens to all of us. All of us, know. right? But you're stuck in the past. That is the main reason for de- depression and being stuck. Yeah. You never left the zone that something happened to you. Where the rest of us know how to turn on the switch. And, and, and we reach up and turn on that switch, that recovery switch, and we say, okay, enough is enough. We're going to move on. But some people don't know how to do that. Yeah. Some people just don't know how to do it. Sometimes you have to just get in there and just pray about it, you know, get into your, your private space and, and just pray to take you out of that deep uh, depression and, um, you know, living in the past, those thoughts that just keep going on and on in your mind in circles and you just have to just you know dig deep within yeah yeah definitely that that is i I couldn't have survived in my life without prayer and 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 that conversation with god for me you know but um let's start with look i i want you if you have a piece of paper whatever you want to do i want you to take down what has been happening in life i want you to go actually back to what has happened in your life what 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 where was the disconnect that you know all the other things that happened in your life you were able to move forward why are you stuck here okay um um everyone has a story everyone has a situation that has crippled them or 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 basically feel like you the wind's been knocked out of them um, I've had several, but um, <laughs> uh, you're not the only one. <laughs> I've had we several, all. yeah. But at the end of the day, sometimes it takes a while to get through that journey. Right. But we get through it. We do. We do. You know, we get we, through it. We have to. And 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 it's, it takes listening sometimes to some other someone else. Yes. That helps pull us out, or be willing to help. You know, be pulled out because sometimes. When you're in a situation of feeling like you're walking in the past, right. you reject love. Sometimes you reject, you yeah, you yeah. reject the person that God may have sent to help bring you out because you don't see it. Because what you're, you're self absorbed in your pain. That's true. And you have self pity. Yeah. And you, you're, 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 you're on a journey of, of, of just destruction within yourself, you know? So, when we when we are in that mode, we really need to go back and talk about what has happened in your life. Okay. We need to sit down and talk about, okay, here is, oh, I want you to do this. Now, and we're talking today, but this is something I want you to do. I want you to go back and find out where did it all start? Where, what happened? Right. Why was this situation so bad? Why did you give up? Why did you accept less for yourself? Why did you stop in mediocrity instead of pressing on through? Why were you able to do this before and you couldn't do this here? Sometimes, let's look, well, let's, let's stop for a minute. Let's look at the, the word pain and what pain does to us. With pain, um, we tend to feel loss. Sometimes you feel like you can't control it. You, you're, you're in, in it, it takes you over if you, want, if you want. Now, in this world, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principality and d- rulers in dark places. That's what the word says. But for the rest of us, we're going to say there's good and there's evil. Yes, there Correct? is. Correct? Correct. All right. So in, in, in the... The, the, the realm, there's good, and I, I pass good on to God for me. Amen. And evil, as on to Satan. That's what I, word I use, but we'll say good and evil. Now, good um, right. and evil will only, the only thing they have to do to you is manipulate your mind. That's it, yeah. Manipulate your mind. If, 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 if Satan could take hold of your mind, He's got it. So with God, God is a God of forward movement. He is not a God of the past. 
I mean, you have history, you have the Bible, he, he will, you will learn from the past, you've learned from his lessons, you've learned from his word, but he's always moving us forward. He says, if you don't want to be that person to be used, he will make a rock cry out. He will use a donkey. He will use whatever so his word can move forward. His work can move forward. He's right. not a God of the past. But Satan is. He will drag you into the past every day of the week. He sure will keep you He will drag you down. backwards. As long Can't as he can, and, and, and into a quicksand and drag you under. Can't let him. And you have to get control of your mind. mind. Yeah. You have to know the greatness that's within you. You have to know your purpose. The only way you can sit, you sit around in your house depressed is because you do not know your purpose. When we were brought into this earth, we had a purpose. There is a journey for us. There is things that we are supposed to do. And when you don't know it yeah. or you ignore it, um, you tend to spiral out of control. So when the incident or situation happened, it may have been, you know, from, okay, you know, you may have gotten a divorce. Um, the love of your life broke up with you, maybe someone who violated you, your mm. trust, um, as well as your body, someone has abandoned you, someone um, from childhood has filled you with abuse and unhappiness. You know, there's a lot of things. We can go on forever. Even church has hurt you. And church? what you, honey, I mean, how, let I, me tell you. I'll, I'll let let me tell you. I've gotten some I didn't good. I know the church can hurt oh, you. Oh, gosh. Wow. Some people in church has hurt me very badly. Oh. But church folk is just six foot, six foot on the one roof. And do not think because they're, they're in that church, they're perfect. They may want you to oh. think they're perfect, but they're not. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. No one is perfect. No. Not one. Right. None was righteous. Not one. That's the word of God. So, I don't care what they may present to you. Look at God's word and God. That's what you need to look at. Don't look at the congregation. Don't look at the yeah. people in there. Because man will let you down every time. God brought us into this world with free will. So that means we're able to do the things that we have to do freely, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can work we can sleep, we can go hang out, we can play games, we can <laughs> do whatever we want. Yes, we okay. have free will. Yeah. We could even All worship right. Satan if we want. Yeah, but we got don't free go will. There. Well, hey, but God gave us free will. That's true. He never, he nev decision. he's never put a chain around your neck. No. He's never done anything to make you follow him. He wants you to follow him and love him on your own. That's he true. does not want you to be under his thumb and pulling you because he said, my sheep know my name. But what Satan does is he has, he has you like a puppeteer. And he's playing the mind games. And until you learn to cut those strings oh, yeah. yes. of, your, of your mind, manipulating your mind, and you could feel all you want that, that, that Satan does not real. And you could believe there's no good in this evening and the atmosphere is what it is and whatever you want to believe. Right. But the reality is you're in a state of depression and you're stuck. I'm trying to explain to you how to get unstuck and how to get out of depression and how to live your life real. I'm not here to sugarcoat it. I'm not here to play games with you. If you want that, then I don't know what to say. But Satan is real. I know for a fact because I've seen the different people that he's manipulated and has caused to hurt me. What do you think they should do if they're really stuck? I mean, you know, how do they help themselves? Well, like I said, one of the things I want them to start doing is I want them to find out when did it start, what situation. Right. And then from there, we're going to uh, examine in that situation, 
what was it that was so bad that they stayed there? Why do they keep reacting it? What, why do they, like some people get divorced and they just like miss that person and why, what happened? I can't believe I lost them. And it, it could be all kinds of different things. Some people got abused as a child and some people can move on and some people can't. And, and there's different things, but they need to really stop and, and think what happened. And once they recognize what has happened, then they have to get to a point of forgiveness. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, because if you don't forgive, what happens is it kind of eats you up because you're reliving the past the over nightmare. the nightmare over and over. And you think forgive unforgiveness is p empowering you. I know I did. Yeah. It, I felt, I truly felt it empowered me to, to be unforgiving. And so, you know, it really and it actually did. takes away your power. Well, yeah, I learned that after, but <laughs> I, at, at the point, <laughs> no, I would be because, like. Because that's just so much, you know, negative energy, you know. True. It's just negative. And so when you can get rid of the neg negative energy, you know, then you can, you know, start facing more of the power of energy. You know, yeah, but at the, right the time, direction. I didn't understand that. <laughs> seriously. I seriously I used know. to get angry. Yes. And I used to just concentrate on the situation. And there. I'm like, if I forgive them, that means they got away with it. And I used You're to, right. I, I, I'm not playing with you. I, I had a it's little like, issue yeah. for a little few years. Yeah. Until I realized they're human. We all make and mistakes. And we all make mistakes. Nobody's and perfect. nobody's perfect. And you know what? I can't worry about that because now I'm five years later <laughs> and I'm still there. That person See? has moved on. Yeah. yeah and, did and what they had to do and I'm still stuck. And that's what happens. <laughs> you, you're still over there in the corner, mad at the world, <laughs> mad at them. Still looking for them to walk yeah. through the door and, hey, or, they, leave, or, or take the memory or, or not have the situation. <laughs> well, the situation happened. You can't undo the situation. Right. With the, Even if you're the one who did it. They've moved on with their lives and um, they're just fine. Yeah. So why should you still be feeling this way? And they're fine. Yeah, you got you got to be at a point in your life where you say, I got to let this go. And yes. I got to just forgive and let go of this for me. Yes. Because otherwise I'm going to go crazy. I remember I got to a point that I couldn't cry anymore. Oh, I remember yeah, I was so empty. Yeah. And I've seen myself shrinking. I was in a state of depression for for a few years, but and now when you say you couldn't cry anymore, what uh, I mean, what stopped your tears from, you know, uh, uh, or your uh, emotions? Uh, emptiness from and anger. Really? Emptiness and anger cuts up my tears. I don't know what stops other people's tears, but for me. But you had sweat so much uh, uh, emptiness and anger, and it yeah, just I just felt like I was you. alone. Yeah. I had no one, and. Over the years of having unforgiveness and having anger mm -hmm. and having emptiness, I felt I would try to cry and I couldn't. And um, some years ago, uh, a, a young man, a friend of mine, um, he went into prayer and helped me with that, and I started to cry. But it was in the it was in a prayer situation of dealing with all the issues from my childhood. Okay, so and I had to let it go. I had to let it go. I had to forgive. I had to get on, and it, the tears finally started flowing for me. And wow. sometimes I wish it would stop, because yeah, you know I <laughs> know because uh, <laughs> it will fall in a minute. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. um, I know you didn't. <laughs> yeah, I went there. <laughs> you went there, but um, <sighs> yeah, no, the tears never stopped. So um. I'm very emotional, but God gave us emotion for a reason. He gave us feelings for a reason. Yes. And I really don't want to ever get to a point that I don't feel anymore. Because what it did was hurt me. It, it, it emptied me out that I could not pour into people. And although I still tried. I still mm -hmm. tried to, to, to pour into people and do God's work. But it wasn't at the best of my ability. I couldn't even hear good. I couldn't feel his presence. I felt like my prayers were going up and hitting the roof. Really? Yeah. When 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 you when you're in unforgiveness and emptiness like that, your pr I f I felt like every time I pray pray it just hit this room and I, and and it did not go into. 
I felt his presence. I didn't feel it. I felt right. like there was no one hearing me, but I still prayed. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, my journey with God started when I was seven years old. And, and um, I don't know what it was, but I remember I, w- I was actually raised a Catholic, and I was doing a Hail Mary's full of grace to the Lord, but the best of the mountain, I mean the whole nine with the rosary. Okay. Okay, what and happened? I remember sitting in, in Trinidad, we called them um, double-deckers, but they're called bunk beds in America. So, yeah, That's okay? Right. <laughs> double-deckers. Okay. Double-deckers. Anyway, so... Um, I'm sitting, I remember sitting underneath the double decker, Mm -hmm. I mean the bunk bed, let's say, so you understand. And uh, (laughs) he thinks he has jokes. Um, And, and. It's America. (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) And um, I was praying and I remember praying so hard and I felt his presence. I don't know why, but I felt him there. And I felt that I knew that he was hearing me, and I knew that I don't know how to explain it. It just was something that I knew. Right. And I went on over the years, always knowing that reassurance that he was there. Um, even in the midst of the most painful, now you're trying to make me cry. Oh. Oh, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> even in the most painful no times crying. of my, I know, we're, see, it tears come on. But the uh, most painful times of my, <laughs> the most painful times of my year, of my year, the years, uh, I, um, I always felt him. And I, 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 and I, kn- I realized, you know, even in the midst of everything I went through, every pain I went through, because when I, when I got here, I not only, you know, I went through everything from being tossed back and forth. Right. I went through bullying in school. Uh, I know I'm a straightforward, hard talker now, but when I was younger, I was, you know, just a laid-back Trinidadian girl with an accent and didn't understand a lot of stuff. Right and off the boat. <laughs> Go on. And got, and got bullied, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know, in, 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 in this here American <laughs> schools. So I understand the bullying process, how yeah. people feel, but it's just that, I was also brought up with very strong-minded people that I didn't let it keep me down. And I figured out ways to combat it. Um, Later on, I've been married twice. Um, I've gone through so many different ups and downs financially, pain-wise, people talking about me, church people (laughs) using me and talking about me. So... It's been a lot that I have gone through. I, I can't even tell you the, the betrayals I have gone through. But yeah, it sounds but, pretty But I'm sure deep. you've gone through some stuff in I've your life. I've gone through it myself, you know. Yeah. And, you know, that part you're talking about, you know, not being able to cry. Mm-hmm. I, I experienced that, too. I, I don't know why, but, uh, you know, where I would try, you know, like if I got upset about something and I'm thinking I'm, I'm about to cry and I'm, like, trying, and it's just like it just – doesn't come out the tear I, I don't know what happened yeah it's it's a matter of you know, releasing you know because i lost my mom she had passed away and then you know my wife uh, at the time had uh, abandoned my kids and you know you. right you know and me you know right after you know losing my mom mm-hmm. and i guess i just have everything you know and you know losing my dad too you know some years ago but it's just something inside of me that just makes it hard to uh you know, show that emotion, you mm. know. Yeah, that's because. I, I don't know why. Is it because you relive it? Yeah. And you can't get past the scenes that you keep reliving it? You keep, because you, you want closure on each one of those situations. Right. And, and the closure and is not good. And know. losing kids, right. So you want closure because, you know, we've talked before. You said you, your dream, because you lost your, son, your father at 16, Right. You always wanted to have kids and you always wanted to have a family and the the different things were taken away from you. And that yes. that that, uh, that tore you apart to the core. Oh, absolutely. But some of it is because you keep reliving it and you haven't gotten closure. When the, that that young man that 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 and he knows who he is. I'm not going to say his name, but 
he was there for me and um he it was critical for him to pray for me and and help me through to let go of each situation mm, okay. when you hold on to it and you keep reliving it you're living in your past right you're not moving forward you're you're continually trying to find closure in each one of these situations your dad died unexpectedly there was no closure mm -hmm. your mom you knew she was dying but it was an unexpected thing that you you just talked to her and then she was well, gone. No, I, I knew she was sick but you know she's you know, sick you dying. didn't know she was dying right right so there was no closure there and right. then you know when your ex-wife left you know you, you you just hadn't when she left for good it, it was not a closure and then you the lo lo the lack of not having the kids closure no closure so right so every time we try to find closure sometimes we can't get it and you yeah. gotta accept the fact that you're not gonna get it that's what i had to do that's true you're not I, always I, gonna have closure <laughs> let me tell you you just have to close yourself. it yourself yeah you because have to. you're not going to get closure true you know, everybody wants closure in relationships. I want closure. I don't understand why they did that to me. He used to say he loved me, and then he doesn't. Why did he do that? Why did he? Uh, 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 why? Why would my? Uh, my uh, why? Why? What? Not my parent, but some people have come to me, and their parents have uh, as as uh, sexually abused them or do different things. Like you know, there's right. so many different. Somebody was raped. Why did they choose me? It's always a why. Always. Because you're trying to figure it out and you're trying to get closure. And you cannot get closure. There is no closure to it. Some people, I you know, that has done things to you just have free willed. You know, we have free will. Remember that? We have free will. With their free will has chose to do something bad to you. Period. You're not going to figure out in their mind why no. the reason why, the rhyme, the reason why. They just did it. Mm -hmm. The end. First stop, close the book on that one right there. That's all you can do. Chapter has ended. <laughs> <laughs> the whole chapter has ended. The whole book has ended on that situation. And you have to let it go. And everybody, for some reason, is, is, is looking for closure. Do you... Do, do you has anybody ever really stopped to think what a person coming out of the war have to go through to recapture their mind, recapture their body, and move on? They have lost co-workers um, in, in the field, and they're you know, seeing them blown up. And there's so yeah. many post-traumatic stress disorder stuff Absolutely. that they go through. And some of them recover because they figured out how to, to go up and turn on that switch. And some of them, they're still trying to figure out why. Right. Why did this have to happen in front of me? Why did this, you know, do this? Why, 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 why? And 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 it, it is a sad situation. Some of them come back with, uh, you know, no family to come home to, and all they have is, you know, who they served with. And yeah, um, exactly. You know, and and that person it. that they served with is now gone, you know, whatever. And right. some of them do have family. God does send somebody, but they cut themselves off because they're living in that realm. Right. And then others realize, thank God I made it through. Mm -hmm. I'm going to embrace the family I have. I may not have a leg. I may not have an arm. Right. But I have, God has still maintained this for me, and I'm going to grab hold of it. It is your perspective in life. If we keep the perspective in life of empowerment and greatness, sometimes we don't know how great we are. And we think of it ourselves in a small manner. When you think of yourself in a small manner, you'll never understand how great you can be. And when, when you start to close your mind small-wise and you, you keep being depressed and you, you're thinking that this world is in this box that you created in your mind, you never get out the box to realize this box is a whole lot bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and there is love around me. You've got to learn to love again. Love you again and then love someone else again. Accept love. Yeah. Appreciate love. Because you know what? A lot of people don't have it. And they're still functioning. 
but God will bring somebody to you. It doesn't have to be the opposite sex. It could be a friend. It could be some, except the, 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 the movement. Sometimes it's someone to take care of you or talk to you. Like I said, the person that helped me through everything, that I learned, I, I let it all go. And once I let that all go, I was so freed when I learned to forgive. I bet. But you cannot get closure. I'm going to tell you now. I, it, there are so many skeletons in closets and families today. You open that door, you might be covered in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Surely. There are so much skeletons. And do you think you're going to go back and, uh, and go to all them skeletons? I want closure mm -hmm. on this one. I want closure yeah. on this one. What? No. Let it go. Close that chapter of your life and let it go. go. Yeah. Forgive. Forgive so God can deal with that person and deal with the situation because you keep taking it out of God's hands. You keep trying to figure out how to close it. You keep figuring out I'm in pain and I'm angry and stuff like that. And then all you're doing to yourself is you're stopping your progress of your purpose you have a purpose and somebody out here wants to hear you what you have to say yeah we have a call here let's see oh flyer hi hello hi hi, hi. <laughs> thank you for calling the recovery switch hi uh i have a question okay yes okay i i, I love the topic that you have today but what do you do for those that they you trying to help out of their depression, but they put on a face, that mask that they put on that you, they act like they're out of it, but then within a couple of weeks or a month or two, they fall right back into it. What do you do to help them? At at yeah. that point, if you keep talking to them and they you know they keep coming back with the same conversation, one thousandth time the same situation and the same depression. At this point, you have to really talk to them straight and let them know, look, you, you're going to have to, to, to come to a point that you realize you're not going to get closure on this. You're not going to, 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 to I don't know what you're looking for in this situation, yeah. but you're going to have to close these chapters of your life if you're going to get better. And you pray for them. You've got to let them go through the journey and, and, and the speed that they're going to go through it. But if it's hampering your journey sometimes you just got to pray for them and let them go because they're not making any movement forward but if God is putting it in your heart like that he did for the young man that helped me through this, the journey that I was going through and I had been through it for many years in depression um just pray for them and keep talking to them and say look you're gonna have to stop yeah they have you to they yeah, take that mask off. Yeah, they have to let it go um, because if they keep on with the depression and and um, you know it, you know it could make them sick. You know, stress, depression, it'll just start affecting their body. Yeah, it says it's for stress and, and the depression the affects stress, the blood streams it, and everything. Yeah, it'll just take you on out of here. So at some point, they just really have to get their mind stronger and. Just stop, you know. Let me ask you a question. Do you think this person can be helped? Do you think this person's even listening to you when you talk to them? Yeah, they listen. But are they, I don't. sometimes they receive it, but I don't think they receive it every time. Are they getting professional help from a, you know, a psychologist or somebody? Professional help from someone? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure of that. Okay. Well, sometimes I can help, but some people... You know, depending on culture and aspect, a lot of people with different um, um, people of color <laughs> hate, hate psychiatrists, which I don't know why. But a lot of that is being put away, you know, because a psychiatrist, yeah. uh, a psychologist, what they can, uh, some type of therapist can help you through a journey. Sometimes they can walk you through that journey and help you to get better. Sometimes even the, the what's it called it? Um, hip, hypnotherapist. They, yeah. they hypnotize you and help you to get back to that, that one scene in your life that, that snapped inside of you and trying to reconnect it. So there's a lot of help out there. But if this person is a person that does not want to do that, then maybe you just need to pray for them and, you know, 
I, I'm not about sugarcoating anything. You, most of you people who know me out there, I don't sugarcoat much. So, um, you know, tell them straight. What are you looking for? A closure? It's not going to happen. You need to move forward. What that person did or what they didn't do it, it was because they wanted to follow in their free will to do what they wanted to do. That has nothing to do with your future. You have a future and you have people that are waiting to, for you to help. You got to empower them. You know? Did we lose her? I don't know. Hello? Hello? No, I'm still here. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I hope I helped. Oh, right. Bye. Thank you. So, yeah, so sometimes the sad part about it is if somebody's not ready to listen, they're just not ready to listen. Yeah. You, could, you, could, you could talk to your blue in the face and until you wake up. That's why I'm here tonight. He and I are here to tell you, you know, you, can, you, you, you have choices. You could hear what we have to say and, may, and, and, and change your life and, and do something different and start moving forward, or you can stay in the past and, and end up destroying the mere fiber of who you are. You're not only doing that, but the people around you that loves you, that's looking in on it, that's seeing you have self-pity and yeah. woe is me and stuff, you're destroying them too. And uh, unless you don't even care about them, you know, it's kind of sad because you're taking down, it's collateral damage. When you have people around you, it could be, you could be married, you could be not married, you could be have brothers and sisters or friends who love you that is watching you destroy yourself. And somehow, sometimes, and this is just sometimes, people feel empowered by pain. Oh, they they yeah. actually feel empowered by pain. They feel it makes them stronger because it's a feeling. Mm. It's, a, it's, it's a negative feeling, right. but for that period in time, and that anger, it made them feel stronger and better. Wow. And, and, and that's all they got. Yeah. That's so it. if they open themselves up to the pain that's within them, it starts to make them feel vulnerable. True. And, and the vulnerability makes them withdraw back in because they don't want to face the vulnerability. And sometimes you just got to face it and cry it out. If you want to, to reach up and turn on that switch in your head that says it's time to recover. Because, okay, you were 30-something when it happened. You're 40-something now. So you're going to take it to 50-something before you wake up? Come uh -huh. on. Yeah. You're going to have to figure out that life is short. And it's too amazing that God woke us up every morning to get a heart is beating. We have a chance to make something different every day. We have a chance to grow and, and reach for the stars every day. Okay, yeah. But instead, what you're doing is you get up and you crucify yourself every day. You, 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 you cut off your air supply every day with living in the past. Walking around with that gray cloud. Yeah, yeah, over your head. And like Every I said, day. we've all been there. Don't, I'm not trying to say that this is only you. And, and uh, We've been there. Yeah, you're not alone. Yeah. You're not alone. I have, I have walked around with an attitude that I thought it made me feel empowered. And I got energized off of anger. Mm. I know some people get ang energized off of telling their sob story. And they, they, they lose business partners and, and um, employees or um, um, lose jobs because every time they come, they, they, they want to tell you what's yeah, going on with yeah, them. Yeah, well, they see you coming and, you know, they know <laughs> that you're about to tell your story again that they've heard for the umpteenth time and uh, they don't want to hear anything more negative, you know. So people... I tend to run, hide, oh, here they come, you know. <laughs> right. Duck. You told me you went through that, too, yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. I, I went through that, you know, but, um, um, you know. But he had to grow out of it. Yeah. I mean, he had to come out of it yeah. because he was losing clients. Yeah. And you're losing friends. And you're losing family. It's a reality of what happens. So you true. come, people already have their own issues in their house, their own pain in their life. 
and now you're taking it and dumping yeah, all know. your stuff on them every single day. So yeah, when they, they come to work, nobody else's pain, you know. Well, they come to work to work. Yeah. Not to hear you, and even the family members who love you is there for you, but they like like the caller said, you don't want to change. They have talked to you and told them it's going to be all right. right. It's all right. They're rubbing you. They're talking to you. It's okay. You know, you can make it. And instead, you're like, well, I don't know. And you go yeah. into your self-pity thing you and you end up in the same space and time you are when you walked in the door and they were trying to help you. So now they're like, should we invite the, him over to dinner <laughs> or <laughs> over to dinner? Because right. you know we're going to hear this story. Yeah. You know we're going to have to deal with the, the sour face. We know because the atmosphere changes when you're walking in a, in a, in a space and time of so the past. True. Your atmosphere changes. It, you change the whole room. Everybody's happy, looking forward to their plans and their dreams and their vacations and their all the things they're planning. Well, I, I remember when I was going through, you know, um, feeling down and out and depressed that, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, in order to make myself feel good, I would just go out into the public with, you know, where there's a lot of people. So I didn't feel alone, you know, and I would just, you know, mingle um, amongst the crowd of people, you know, and just keep myself busy and keep my mind going instead of just, you know, locking myself up in a room and just let it eat at me. And my escape was, like I said, to get out and just be around a lot of people. And that's a good, that's a good one, actually. Yeah. Because yeah. life brings more life. Joy brings more joy. Uh, uh, um, love brings more love. Yeah, no matter how much fun they're having with their families, yeah, it hurts. You know, you see, you know, the families are all together and, you know, you wish that was you and, you know, it's unfortunately it's not. But it, you know, just kind of help, you know, not, you know, staying stuck, you know, at home, uh, you know, and stuck in bed, you know. Yeah. It's and people worst. walk up to you and they see the sad eyes. Right. You're like, oh, I'm telling you, 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 you can walk up to a person and you know they have a sad, depressive spirit. spirit. They're depressed. You see it in their eyes. You see it in their countenance. You, you see it in, the, in in every aspect. And you're like, Oh my gosh. And at first you want to reach out to them, tell them it's going to be okay. Look, just hang in there. Just do this. Yeah. And then you tell them that for about a hundred times and then it, it doesn't work. Then you're like hitting your head against it. Like, I really like this person. I know they can do so much. They can change the world. What can else can I do? And like the caller said, what else can I do? I don't know what else to do. I'm hitting my head against the wall and this person doesn't want to wake up. At that point, they're going to withdraw from you. And thereby, all these people God had sent to you, like I heard the story some years ago about, um, it, I guess it's a funny story, I don't know what it is, but I guess this person was drowning in the, uh, was, was uh, you know, um, drowning in the ocean, right? Right. And I was praying to God and asking God to send, you know, somebody to rescue him, you know, and, and God come rescue him. And God sent a boat, and he said, no, 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 I'm waiting for God. And he sent a ship. I'm waiting for God. And the person drowned. And when you get to heaven, he says, what, what happened, God? He said, I sent a boat. And I sent okay. a ship. And you said <laughs> no. Right. Yeah. <laughs> because he was willi waiting physically for what he thought should have happened. Right. Sometimes we have created a world in, in our minds. And we want this world just how we want it. Yeah. And because it does not work out how we imagined it, we just throw it out the window. Although God knows what's best for us, we tend to say, hmm, yeah, I know you know it, but you put this, this, this right here, I feel this is how it should be because I've been imagining this world for a long time. And that's the world I want. And, and although God had a different plan for you, you continue to ignore that. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do. That is exactly what we do. We yeah. create these worlds in our mind. Yes, and, and like I said, Satan has control over our mind. That's all he has. That's it. 
So take time and figure out where you're at right now. If you see in, the micro, in this conversation tonight that you're there, you're the one that's sitting up there talking over and over and over about the same thing. Your continence is sad. You're depressed. You have so much to live for. And I'm yeah. sure you've heard this before. But you need to wake up. You're not going to get closure. Life Stop isn't it. over. It's not so over. It's not over. You're it's not, not going to get close on the situation. You have a lot of life still in you. You just have to get past this. Yeah. You know? We all have to get past yeah. it. And stop putting yourself in a small box. There is more. There is new love. There's new joy. There's new happiness. There's new, uh, maybe, you know, you'll end up getting your own business and becoming as successful as you want. There's, there's so much that God has put in you for a purpose. For a purpose. And if we don't, if you don't get out of your box or your head and get out of the past, the past was the past. Why are you there? Yeah. The future is where God is, and he's waiting for you like, come on, let, let, let's get this done. I got a few people over here that need to talk to you. I, I got this going on. I need to, to, to prepare your, 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 your artwork or whatever, whatever you have to do. So true. Whatever that person did to you is over with. They sucked. I get it. <laughs> it hurt. I get it. But... Why are you still there? Why are they going on with their life and the puppet strings that Satan has created is playing you like a puppet? They're living their lives and you have a chance to live your life. God is sending you all these life rafts. He's sending you everything and you're not listening. You're not seeing because in your mind you created a world, imaginary world, and you feel it needs to be just how you thought it was going to be. Well, it's not. It's not. You have some great things around you, but until you start to become a grateful person and appreciate the little things, like just waking up in the morning, going on and doing different things, the people that you meet, the love that he sends you, everything that he has given you for your future, until you start to really uh, 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 um, appreciate, we have to be in a spirit of appreciation yeah we do we do it, it we only I mean, fail if we don't pr appreciate things yeah you have to let god know thank you for everything that he does for you you know every you know giving you life health you know opportunities right you know exactly he likes to hear that you know uh, but even you know we we tend to not appreciate the the spouses in our life the family members in our life, yeah, they're not, they're not perfect. Sometimes, yeah, they get you on your nerve. Yeah. But appreciate them, that God gave you them. And, you know, at the end of the day, you pray for the ones that may have hurt you and let them go. At the end, uh, and keep on going to the ones who you do love and has been there for you, but appreciate them. When we stop realizing what we have, and we stop appreciating it, we tend to close ourselves off and, and block the love that we have in our lives that God has sent us. And you never get full love again because you're looking at the past. This is a new and greater and better love, but it will never get there because you don't appreciate it. You don't appreciate the job that God. It's greater and better. It may look different. It may start off this way, but he already plans to leap you into different areas. You, 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 your health, the, the, the different things. Sometimes you have to fight through the illness. Fight. Don't sit there and say, yeah. oh, I got diagnosed with something. Uh, well, do you know what? I'm going to fight because God is able. He is a healer. Yes, he, is. he makes a way. You know, I wanted to come tonight, Chuck and I wanted to just share that with you because of the fact that so many people we meet do not know how to recover. They don't know how to turn on that switch. They don't know how to deal with pain. We've been through a lot of pain, let me tell yeah. you. And we, we have learned to recover. 
you know, and it's all in stages. There's, there's all in stages. You may start off and, 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 and it may grow, but as long as you're walking forward, I need you to stop looking backwards. But we're here today to tell you, you are great. You are amazing. You are yes, powerful. You are. And you can do anything if you put your mind to it. You Stop it. staying in the past. Move forward. You can do this. Here at the Recovery Switch, we're here to empower you. Yeah. We're here to make a, a change. If you want to write us, write us at the recovery switch at gmail.com. We will answer any of your notes, your, your letters, anything that you want. We are on Facebook, the recovery switch, anything, but that's what we're, our purpose is. We found our purpose. Our purpose is to help people. That's our right. purpose is to be there for people. And I just want you to know, you can always contact us. We're here every Sunday, every Sunday at 8 o'clock on latalkradio.com. You can tune in, watch us live. Please share this video to anybody who is going through something. We have a YouTube channel, and the YouTube channel is the recovery switch, slash C, slash, um, uh, I mean YouTube, slash C, slash, the recovery, recovery switch. switch. Set it backwards, sorry. <laughs> but um, okay. you can go to the recovery switch. It's all on my Facebook. So you can do that. We are on Twitter. We are on um, Instagram. But all these things are there for you. Join us again next Sunday, and we will Please. have something or someone else to empower you and give you something to get up and, 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 and make a difference with every week. You guys have a blessed night, yes. and we'll see you next Sunday. Good night, and thanks for tuning in again. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. You're listening to The Recovery Switch, where victory lives with Nicole Elizabeth Squires, only on L.A. Talk Radio.